Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video, I wanted to talk about another technique regarding compression and dynamics processing, which is using side chaining to help your drums cut through the mix a little bit better. And so for this example, I'll be using this drum loop and this saw synth sound. And so what I want to do to help the drums come through a little bit better on top of that saw sound is I want to sidechain the drums to this track and use sidechain compression to kind of open up a little bit of space for those drums. And so I'll add a 3D limiter and go to the compression settings and select the appropriate sidechain input and now you can see that the drum loop is going into that sidechain track. So what I'm going to do is set a threshold so that the kick is decently well coming through the threshold but it isn't going to completely you know destroy the presence of my saw synth sound. So I think um, about here might be okay. And you can see that the snare is coming through a little bit as well. And that is something that I want. And now I just want to adjust the ratio until I'm getting a decent amount of reduction, but it doesn't sound too much. You know, I want it to still be fairly transparent. I don't want it to be super obvious that I'm side chaining the synth sound to the drums. I mostly want the effect to be kind of a subconscious effect. And I think that is about good but I need to adjust the release setting. The attack setting I want to keep um, pretty much instant just because you know I really want the transients of the drums to cut through and so I want the compressor envelope to react very quickly to the transients of those drums. So I'm leaving the attack at uh, a very low level or zero and I want to reduce the release so that I'm not getting as much of a pumping effect. Because you can hear there's a little bit of pumping going on and I don't quite want that so I'm going to reduce this until it sounds yeah, a little bit more transparent. There's less pumping and the sidechain overall is a little bit less noticeable. So that sounds pretty good to me. And you, know, you can of course adjust other parameters or make fine tuning adjustments and get everything exactly perfect to get uh, you know, exactly the sound you want. But this sounds decent to me. And you can hear if I turn it off there's um, quite a bit of a difference. And then if I turn it back on. You know, you don't really pick up on the side chain um, a whole lot. It's not particularly noticeable in the sense that you notice the saw sound being reduced but what you do notice is the drums come through uh, quite a bit more clearly. So this is a very common technique that is used to help your drums really cut through the mix and help you get a nice clean drum presence in your mix. And so how exactly you go about doing this 
is very much up to you. You know, in this example, I was only using a drum beat uh, that was a pre-made drum loop, and then this saw synth sound. But you might have an entire synth bus, you know, where all your different synth sounds are going through that synth bus, and then you sidechain the whole synth bus based on uh, your drum bus. Or what I personally like to do is sidechain um, my synth bus or certain sounds based only on the kick and the snare. And maybe certain other drum sounds. So the exact way you go about doing this is going to be very much up to you. Um, it's going to be up to what sounds best to you, what works best with your workflow and all that. But the main idea is just to sidechain your synth sounds or you know whatever sounds are kind of covering up the drums a little bit uh, based on the drums so that when the drums play, you know your synth or whatever uh, dip a little bit under the drums and just help those drums cut through a lot more clearly. And, you know, in most cases, you want it to be pretty transparent like it is in this example. You know, um, in most cases, you want to avoid uh, doing anything like this. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of a cool effect. Uh, yeah, if you want to use it as an effect, that's fine, but... If the whole point of what you're doing is to just get the drums to cut through, you want it to be a little bit more transparent, more than likely. So hopefully that's helpful. You know, hopefully you can use this information in this video to help your drums cut through your mix a little bit more clearly if you're having any trouble with your drums not coming through your mix very well. And you know, if you're having some trouble getting this to work with your drum sounds that you're using, you might try using a ghost kick technique, which I will be covering in a later video, that can help you get a little bit more control over specifically the side chain of the sound. Um, if, for example, you're using like an 808 or your drum bus is a very, very busy or you know, any number of things that might be causing issues using your actual drum sounds as the sidechain input. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful.